This is loading, what the hell? There we go. So just as a quick quick run through, we're gonna just do some more time trials. Uh, did I delete that old video? I can't remember. I started going on a tangent about some gossip about my personal life, and then I just felt a bit like, nah, I don't want to talk about that on the channel, it's just weird and just weirdly personal, so I just kind of, it was only a few time trials that I was doing, so I just kind of like quit halfway through, where um, like I edited the video down and just thought, ah, fuck it, it's fine. You're not really missing a lot at this point, I'm really just, uh, really selling this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just feel like it's, it's been a while since I've been doing this stuff actually. Um, oh, I remember that being hard. Let's try and find something I can vaguely do. Let's try and get all the boxes on this, shall we? Just have a bit of fun. Um, yeah, ever since the RE3 playthrough, I have been playing and recording but I have been having real trouble finding the time uh, to uh, what's it? There it is. I think I fucked up. That. Oh, I don't know if they count if you shoot the balloons. I think in the old game it was a bit like vague. Oh, oh. these guys. I think these guys are the biggest problem, really. They do, they do way more damage than I remember. Give me. Okay, so how many? Seven out of eleven. Seven eleven. I don't know if that counted. Yeah, it did. So we got, I can't do maths, um, I have to admit, ooh, I say I have to admit, I can't see him, yeah, I'm, I'm getting sick of like, I got kind of sick of like, uh, recording, uh, editing and like all of that stuff after the RE3 playthrough, so it's just been kind of slow ever since, and I started a new job recently, and that's just been wall to wall stress, really. Uh, it's a nice job, but it's just there's a lot of like stuff to deal with. So when you start a new job, where's this last? Oh, I got it. I got it. I was gonna say, where's this last box? I can't hit it this close. I'm gonna have to back off. And... I got one of them. There we go. That was an easy gem. Um. Yeah, new job, kind of hectic, don't really have time to be um, editing all the pops and clicks out of some of some of the videos I've been doing, so uh, yeah, just kind of trying to just have fun again, because I think the RE3, because I just played it, like I played the last half of the game almost, or at least the last third of the game, from beginning to end, and that was just... That was just a problem. So it's really just this one time trial, this one time trial. Kind of burnt me out, but I've been playing on and off since when I've had time. Try and do that one, or we can. What else we got? Yeah, I knew I'd have the bike one. Ooh, tempting. Bug legs horrible. Uh, we're gonna try Sphinxinator, although it's actually one of the worst ones for me. I have one of the biggest troubles dealing with all of the running and work out to fetch at target time. <laughs> I always forget to do that. Does it just tell you that? No, it doesn't in this. Yeah, 
the sensitivity on that double jump is nowhere near as forgiving as it used to be. Don't think you lose lives anyway in a time trial. There's that one. And spin. Ooh, close. I'm not hitting that X. <sighs> yeah. Got kind of burnt out after RE3. Not much else to say on that subject. Ooh, look at that wombo combo. Wobba wobba. Ooh, 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 ooh. My hands are sweaty. Mum's spaghetti. Oh, oh, motherfucker. I'm just making this harder for myself. I think, like, sapphire relics aren't particularly different. Cool. Let's mess around doing stupid shit like this. He never gets off of the lever. You think he sees a bandicoot walking towards him and he's tracking you. He doesn't ever get off the lever. He just watches you come up and wreck him. Ah, I knew it. Wait. The blue gem roots. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of gem roots and split pathing in this. I always forget. I wonder, if, I wonder what... I'm starting to wonder what I... What gem, if any, I've got for this level now. Now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the sapphire relics on these are really just a case of do an okay time and don't dilly-dally around and you'll be fine, basically. Don't sit here jumping around on gem roots and waiting for everything to, you know, for the slowest amount of time possible, you know, it's just like, make, you know, some speed. There we go. Yeah, don't miss the button. See, it's not really difficult, it's just run through the level. You don't even have to have the dash a lot of the time. They seem to have done it so that you could do the game. You could get this time for these uh, without the dash. Wang. <sighs> yeah. New job, new fun. I mean, you want to talk about that. It's not really exciting, I'm a teacher, aren't I, so... Well, this is sad, but I'm actually enjoying it so far. Uh, I've only been working about three or four days, so, um, at the new place. But, um, it's adult teaching, everyone's way mellower, oh my god. The moment you're, like, in a place where they're like, oh yeah, so we're, like, adult teachers, uh, we're teaching... We do also teach like primary, well it's really like 12 to 16 year olds, so I wouldn't know, that's not primary is it, it's like high schoolers, middle schoolers kind of thing. Times on those were quite hard if I remember. Bug light, oh there's flaming passion, there's two flaming passion, just to try and run at things. And um, well we're just burning through this, 8 minutes, 9 minutes in and we've managed to get quite a lot of uh, Jewels and relics. Oh, these don't turn into anything. Well, that was good timing. That was not. It's fine. It's not fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it, how is it fine? <laughs> the physics defying nature of uh, Crash Bandicoot just makes it very difficult to ascertain. Sometimes I die in Crash Bandicoot because I'm shocked I'm alive, <laughs> you know, like, <coughs> I'm like, wait, I'm alive? Oh, I've died again because, like, you know, I thought I was dead because of my death-defying lunacy here where it's just, you've got to learn to just go with it on an as-of-when basis. <laughs> it's hard to talk as well at the same time. I'm determined to try. Oh, I fucked this up. Look at this. Yeah, cut my pants. I've done it wrong again. Oh, saved. Not 
saved. Don't need to be running all the time, like I said, for the sapphire, really. They're just shocked that you just want do it in one and don't just walk and just watch everything and try and work it out slowly. Just shows that you kind of vaguely know where everything is and can react as you go, but... Uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> for my teacher friends, I do this every time, slash friend, because a lot of my friends quit the teaching industry because uh, of stress, because, uh, yeah, teaching, like, everyone's like, oh, those teachers, man, they get so much time off, it's bullshit, and they're like, they're like, so, you know how much paperwork we have to do? and how much stress teaching is because of the unrealistic goals and the ridiculousness that is parents' expectations. Why aren't you spending all of your time tutoring my child? Because, miss, I have a 30-student class followed by a 30-student class that your child isn't even fucking in. <laughs> like, you know, what do you think? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna pr pr do preferential treatment because that's ethical. Oh, what your kid, future Harvard or Etonian kid, is it? So they matter more than the other kids. Fuck off. <laughs> Always had this. Oh, your kid's rich. It's like, well, pay me then. And no, don't actually pay me. <laughs> don't actually pay me. But I'm not allowed to take gifts to change my opinions and like who I decide to like. Because I'm trying to be equal and fair. It's an equal and fair education. Um, oh, I need to die just because I didn't see that hole. Um, but, like, obviously, I'm private, so it's still a bit like, oh, parent equal rich. Oh, nothing, really? Oh, that was a waste of time. Uh, parent equal rich pays for extra tuition for a student who is uh, either really uninterested or is taking a personal interest in it and their kid, their parents are like, this really matters to them and you're like, oh, that's good. I'm glad. Like, especially when they're older. Much better, like I was saying. Age-wise, teaching older students also, like, it removes the childish narcissist stereotype quite thoroughly from the teaching. See, I did it without even really. Hey, you're ruining the recording. Ah, oh, he's, he does this. I give him food. I don't like this food, so I'm going to scratch at the food bag and scratch near the bowl and complain until you give me new food. God damn it, what's wrong with mackerel? He hates mackerel all of a sudden. He used to love mackerel. My cat, man. I don't have, like, a gimp that I only feed mackerel, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, in theory, because you've got a time limit with the bug, it shouldn't be that hard, because it's like, well, I, I'm running most of the time anyway in the standard thing, but it's kind of not how this works. Um, what was I chatting about? Yeah, no, let's just talk about everything and not skip at the back and forth of my weird shit. Oh. He used to get eaten by that, I'm pretty sure. But I guess that's pretty hard to... I don't even know what the snake thing... I don't, I've never... <laughs> I've never been killed by the snakes, I don't think. I've nearly been killed by the snakes. Go, oh shit, I don't want to get killed by the snake. The snake's like the biggest hitbox in the game. Oh, that'd be embarrassing. Ooh. Nearly crocked. What happened to croc? If we get, if I can get a decent gaming PC at some point and a working emulator, I will play Croc or something. I doubt they're going to bring it back in place. The classics. I'll, I'll look for it online on the PS4 store, but I highly doubt it. Croc, man. I liked Croc. Oh, this is all worthless. Ooh, but then it tricks me. Oh. After this, uh, Crash LP, or probably co-running, because we're now just doing the trinket run for this. Um, oh, this, this is good. I like this. Can we just have it in Vincent Mask for the whole time trial run? That would make it easier. I still fall in holes, but... I 
I'd say Bug Light's designed to be like whenever they're out of ideas for hard level in a Crash Bandicoot game, in two and three they do this. Obviously three. Um, oh hello. I see what you're doing, you're trying to they lift the difficulty floor by going, here's a time limit. Here's a bug. You can try and get to the end of the level without the bug, but it's pitch dark. Screw you. Good <laughs> attitude. And it's like, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. And he fell in the hole. Oh, there's a gold as well, see? And um, it's really just a case of just do it but fast, stop messing around. And if you're kind of knowledgeable about the level, it's not much harder. I feel like Sphinxinator was harder for me. And that was lit. Lit! <laughs> I haven't got a single platinum this time though. I used to get platinums like they were nothing. Getting old. I, I am all over the place. I never finish a point, do I? How many of these have we got? One more relic and we unlock the final secret level, so let's just get that out of the way, why not? So yeah, I'm teaching older students, which means less petulant parents going, my child is the future genius of China, and you're like, oh, little Timmy who vomits in the corner and constantly just goes Shenma, which is Chinese for what, by the way, I know I say it a lot on this channel, Shenma, uh, just goes Shenma, Shenma Isa, why aren't you speaking Chinese? It's like, oh, why do you think? Is it because I'm a white person who's hired purely to teach you English? <laughs> like, might be something to do with that, buddy. And they're supposed to be a genius prod prodigy child. It's like, well, why are you putting him in a fucking EF then? <laughs> you know? Prodigy child, everyone. Like, trust me, I've taught children who are abnormally talented for their age. And your son ain't that. <laughs> Don't want to be a dick. Your son ain't that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not. But kids are like... A ridiculous level for a 10, 12, just turned 12 year old, and he's like master taekwondo guy. And like, anyway, my point is, um, I don't have to deal with bitchy parents who seem to think their kid is the future answer to the world crisis and will invent either time travel and stop us all from being idiots or be the next future savior of mankind. I'm basically teaching John Connor over here, apparently, <laughs> to go out to register use those iframes, man. Woo! Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. That's what you get for speeding. See? Speed kills. We've all learned something today. Uh, yeah, you don't have to deal with petty parents as much. Oh, well, this is going poorly. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, no. I used to do a good George Decay. Uh, voice. <laughs> voice. Um, yeah, so no young children, no petulant parents. And you know what? I can pick out to kid people who have, like, who teach children immediately by their god complex. Oh, holy shit. If they have god complex, you're just like... Because every guy I work with now... And it might just be because there's not very many teachers left and the ones that are left are the kind of guys who are just like, you know what, okay, I'm just going to stay here. You know, so a little less, oh, I'm better than everyone else kind of attitude. That might be it, but I'm still meeting assholes all the time. I met a guy recently at like a bar or something, and he was just so up his own ass. He had God complex out of the tits. He was like, oh, I used to work at your place, but I moved to somewhere better. I was like, oh, okay, so what do you do now? Works at a kindergarten. Of course he does. Because the teachers who have God complex, are the play they have to go to places, right? Oh, shit, I did the running thing again. Where um, they have to go to the kind of place where their supremacy will never be questioned. And what better place to go where you're literally lowering the difficulty floor for questioning? Think about it psychologically. That one. So we now got this one. First time on the channel, and it's been about 10 years. Oh, five actually. Oh no. Oh yeah, I 
Okay, so uh, win the race by flying through each room. Oh, oh, this this handles like ass. I'm not focusing on these. I'm trying to win the race. Oh no. Oh, and you don't have a health bar, you notice that? So I'm uh, assuming you, you can get one hit again. Standard crash rules. Yeah, don't know what the, if being the Nitro is building is going to fuck me up, you know. This reminded me, I used to play Spyro as well. I was thinking of getting the Reignited Trilogy when I actually get paid and starting that up. Uh, I liked Spyro and I loved the flying levels. This reminded me a lot of the flying levels. Ooh, you. Moose. Oh, you, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh my god. Guys, if you miss one, you're dumb. <laughs> well, we see that animation for the first time. Okay. Uh, yeah, this reminded me of the flying levels. Yeah, oh, yeah. Anyone can tell you. You can tell straight away. And it's not, it's obviously like, personalities are different, but like, this guy had been working in adult teaching, and he obviously had his delusions of grandeur questioned too many times for his liking. <laughs> like, you know, uh, you, you get a lot of this god complex, children make me better, and it's actually the same kind of people who own dogs so that they can have something that they can mentally be stronger than because they, that's the, they need the small victory because they just can't cope with being intellectually inferior than pretty much everyone because they can, they're barely literate. You know what I mean? These people are like, what's the verb? And then in the next moment are like, I teach English and children are a gift and I am the mother Teresa. And you're like, help if you actually knew the language you were teaching her, wouldn't it? Oh, you, the turning circle on this. Is there a way to get it round corners better? Because this is, this is very slow. When the speed boost happens, it changes your turning circle to very incremental and then messes up your uh... Anyway. Yeah. So the the, the the personality of the teacher changes, and I'm very much suited. It's quiet kind of guys who are just quietly either married or just sat there like, yeah, I play video games, uh, you know, I'm a pretty chill guy, I don't really do much, go out occasionally. Not very often, I'm not a loud guy. I just really like, you know, like my job, just teaching the kids, having a fun time. Oh, look at this shit. I feel like I'm missing something here. Because it's not turning, look. It's taking forever to turn to the point I'm going out of bounds. There must be like a strafe button or something that I'm missing. Like a, of course I'm fourth. It's a terrible fucking... I don't think this is happening until I understand how the plane works. Okay. Okay, where's the... Can we... There you go. No. <laughs> that was disappointing for everyone to watch. Of course, they leave the final secret level to be one of the hardest levels, but also one of... You can tell it's a bit of a stocking stuffer when it comes to its before even worse skybox of course because pol polygons it's a skybox with some rings in it in a simple-ish kind of like layout it's not exactly like um anything else you know what i mean is the, there's nothing there so it feels like oh shit we need to have another extra level um yeah we'll just make this up then so we've got a lot of these we might actually be at the point where it's literally just get a few more gems. We might be at the point where it's basically we've got everything that's worthwhile except for a few gems and that secret level there and a few other things like... Yeah, so I'm actually enjoying the new job a lot. The upgrade. It's just straight up an upgrade. If you know English... If you are confident that you understand the mechanics of English and are a teacher, do not waste your time teaching kids. It is the equivalent of being an adult who only watches Sesame Street and then acts like they are gods for knowing all of the characters' names. 
It is maddening to anyone with even more than a primary school understanding of in the language that they speak every day. So, uh, as a language person and someone who actually takes an interest in linguistics and language, it just screams, why would you do this to yourself? Or some of these, some of these gems, man, they're the kind of gems that I've deliberately left for a while because they're like agonizing. Um, I think I saw that the orange asphalt gem wasn't done. Yeah. Can't have a crash game, me playing Crash about this. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the job because it's the first time, well, it's the first time in a long time that I realized that the kids are actually saying to me at the end, no, nah, I, I don't get, oh, I immediately fucked that up. Oh, you're kidding me. And you can't die on these. No, baby. He's climbing on the screen again. Hey, you're ruining it. Stop. I was trying to pull cables out of the back of the PlayStation just to troll me. Oh, meanie. What are we looking at? Where are the boxes? There they are. Okay, two out of twenty. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, well, I just want to drive the bike. That asshole is grinding me everywhere. It's grinding me. Oh. Let's try and get a hang of the route. There's gonna be stuff like this. Yeah, so it's it's, not, it's a nice job. It's the first time in a long time because I haven't been teaching kids this age that the kids are finishing classes, and they're like, "Thanks, I really like you, and I really like your classes." It it's meant a lot to me that you're like talking, you know, to me about stuff that I like, and we're getting to know each other. And I'm like, "Oh, that's that's good." And you're building rapport with the kids. You're not allowed to hang out with them outside because that's kind of a breach of professionalism. It's very much like therapy in the sense that, like, some of the kids, they get, like, really attached to you. And they're not kids now. I keep calling them kids even though they're not kids. Some of them are, like, the same age or older than I am. <laughs> like, you know? And I'm like, ah, oh, you kids. <laughs> they're older than me and they know more about stuff than me. And, um... You know, having that development, you're a bit like, oh, okay. Oh, that's going to be a hard one to get. Over there, that box. And, like, there's, there's there are a lot of cases of, like, pupils getting a bit too attached to you who are technically of the age of consent, and there is no reason, aside from the fact that you're their teacher, that you can't date them. Like, they're, they're consenting adults in all means of the phrase. It's just, you, you really shouldn't. And a lot of the contracts straight up say you're not allowed to. And I think that's fair. To be honest, I feel like it would be just so awkward and I feel really uncomfortable with the idea, so I just never even thought of the idea, really. It's just that it comes up a lot. Let me do the gyms on this one. Or we might do the gems on Bug Light. Okay. Yeah, so it's much nicer for me because I haven't had a single complaint. I haven't had anybody say anything negative. I, and I'm obviously up for review because it's, I'm brand new. Uh, so I'm being followed around and they're like, no. And it's like little things like, all I'd say is just do this differently. Like, you know, just like change the handwriting on your board so it's a little bigger, so it's easy to, to see or something or like, uh, maybe try this. It's very small stuff, and like they said, well, so and like well, the other day they took me in, and they sat me down and said, 
So we've been talking to uh, you, some of your students, just some from every class, just to see how you're getting on. I was like, oh god, here comes a complaint. And there wasn't a complaint. They said, all of them said that they really liked working with you. You're a really nice teacher. They really think that you're really great at your job. And or like, basically, no one had anything negative to say. So that's good. And they all really like you. I'm like, ah, oh. because in every school, no matter how good you are at kindergarten level or like young level, a, mo a mother who thinks that she's somehow doing you a favor will make a stupidly childish complaint like, he's not looking at my son all of the time. He didn't ask him a question once because other students exist. I'm angry and I'm writing a formal complaint and encouraging everyone to also do the same. And you're like, what the fuck is wrong with parents? It's the mother's meeting mentality of like, oh, well, I'm not happy and I'm encouraging all of my friends to complain about you because you're not the last teacher that we really liked because he was here for five years and put up with all of our complaints. And you're just like, uh, okay. Yeah, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. But yeah, still. Oh, why aren't any of these first aid balloons? Oh, there we are. <laughs> I, I have like a magical skill whenever I say these things, don't I? Where is this? Oh, it's here. I got, I got one more, so don't end the level yet. Where is it? Can't even blame the PlayStation's draw distance anymore. Where the fuck is it? Is that it? Yeah, Winnie the Pooh staring at it again like some old fogey. I, I might need to actually check my glasses. I haven't done so in like three years. Um, don't want to get hit by that bill. Especially because in China they'll just say, yeah, your eyesight's terrible. Very terrible. Much terrible. Oh, yes. Definitely going to have to be changed. Two million RMB. <laughs> You're just going to be like, fuck off. Because they love to just charge you for things you don't need and to charge you through the nose for things that aren't that much money and you're just like and mine are always expensive anyway like a couple of grand in pounds so hey look we got another gem gems are really the progression item after the crystals are gone you're just getting gems uh, we could leave it there I don't know Let's, I'm going to have a little inventory take in half an hour I don't like running them too long because then it, the processing and the uploading and shit is just too heavy on my laptop and my internet we've got 17 more gems to get so that's actually quite a few and then once you got them it's basically you can see the the percentage goes up much faster than if you get relics um, but honestly, we got pretty much we got quite a few of the relics too. We got like six relics we haven't got. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll leave that for today, and I'm gonna move over to another.